Okay, um, this video is a continuation uh, of um, a video on integrating um, rational functions. Um, so, um, we in that example, we explained a few ideas and then we started doing examples and we went from part A up to part uh, E. Uh, if you are watching this video, we strongly recommend that you start with uh, that part one. So here we're going to go on and uh, work uh, example number F, uh, G, H, and I. So in uh, example number F, we have got the integral of... Um, so we have got uh, 4x squared... Uh, minus 1 all divided by x plus 3 so again the denominator is linear but the numerator is uh, quadratic so that means that uh, our rational expression is improper so we're going to have to divide first uh, again we're going to use long division so um, the uh, dividend we're going to have to make sure that it uh, involves all the powers of x from 2 so there is 4x squared then the next term which is uh, uh, for um, x to the power 1 does not appear so what we do is we put a placeholder here 0x and then the last term which is the constant is negative 1 and then we're going to say how many times does x go into 4x squared and it goes four times then we say four yeah actually it goes 4x times then i say 4x times x that gives us 4x squared and then 4x times 3 gives us 12x and then we subtract so uh, the 4x squared terms will cancel out here if we subtract we're going to get minus 12x then we bring down negative 1 um, then this time x goes into minus 12x minus 12 times then we say minus 12 times x so that's going to give us minus 12x then we say minus 12 times 3 that is going to give us minus 36 then if we subtract again the 12x terms cancel out this one is going to give us um, 35 so what this thing is telling us or what this calculation is telling us is that uh, uh, 4x squared minus 1 over x plus 3 is equal to uh, 4x uh, so 4x minus 12 uh, that is the uh, quotient here then the remainder is 35 so 35 over x plus 3 so what this means is that our integral, let's call it i, we can write it as uh, the integral of 4x minus 12 plus 35 over x plus 3. Okay. And then um, by the property of uh, properties of integration, <laughs> we can uh, split this into two integrals first for x minus 12 and then this one um, we can write as 35 times the integral of dx on x plus 3 so and then the first one here is just a polynomial so we're just going to add one and divide do that here we're going to get 4x squared over 2 this one gives us minus 12 X and then this one is going to be 35 lean of X plus 3 and then since the coefficient of X is 1 so here this is like uh, strictly speaking 35 over 1 
times that which is just going to be 35 and so when we simplify here this is going to be 2x squared minus 12x plus 35 lean of x plus 3 and then plus c okay right at this point we're going to uh, give you an opportunity to work through the three remaining uh, exercises here so what you want to do is uh, pause the video and then have a go at these ones and then when you continue the video you can compare with uh, our solutions okay we're now going to go through uh, the examples G H and I so for G um, yeah, we notice that uh, this uh, is in the form uh, of uh, this integral here ax plus b dx over x plus b, which we say it, uh, always integrates to that. So the main thing is the uh, coefficient of x, of which in this case it's 5, so we're going to have 1 over 5 lean of 5x minus 1 plus c okay then in h we have got just one term in the denominator notice that even though this is strictly not a rational expression because this is not this power of x is not an, a positive integer however the rules of uh, distributive um, property of uh, division still apply so we can do 9x over this and se sorry and 7 over 2x to the power half and then here x over x to the power half is x to the power half here we just take this x to the power half up and then we just integrate these as uh, uh, powers of x so if we add one here we get 3 halves divide by 3 halves add one here we get 1 half divide by 1 half then 9 halves over 3 halves, so 9 halves divided by 3 halves is the same as 9 halves times 2 thirds. And so the 2 cancels out, the 3 goes 3 times here, so we've got 3. Then similarly, uh, 7 uh, divided by 1 half is just uh, 7. So the seven halves divided by one half. So that's going to be our final expression there. This one is an improper rational expression with a linear denominator. So we're going to divide first. So we write the negative eight first, then plus one. Then four x goes here negative two times. Then negative two times this is negative eight x. Negative two times this is negative six then we subtract when we subtract these terms cancel out these add up to seven so that means uh, this uh, rational expression we can write in that form there and then if we plug it into the integral uh, this just integrates to minus 2x uh, this one on the other hand again the coefficient of uh, x is 4, so we're going to have to divide by 4. So it's just lean of this divided by 4. Um, and so that is going to be our final expression. All right, uh, thank you for watching. We hope these uh, videos are useful. Uh, please do not uh, forget to press the subscribe button. Do like the video and uh, share with others. Thanks.